We're doing two firsts with me in this video. This will be my first, um, like, talky without a purpose video. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I've, okay, so I made 400 videos on YouTube. Thank you, fun fact. Some of, although, I don't know if that's true. I've definitely made 300, whatever. <laughs> uh, but I've only done two makeup related videos all that time. This video and the last video I posted. So am I a makeup channel now? Hi, this is Dodie Clark. She's Hi. gonna do my makeup. <laughs> I was just thinking like, you're finally uh, what society views as a female YouTuber. Yes, I've made it. Here we are. Make me beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna do my makeup how I would do my makeup. Yeah. Your skin Make is me so dirty. Perfect. Can I just not do anything to your skin? It's so nice. But that wouldn't be how you do it. I guess. I'm oh, like... do you need my face stuff? I don't have any foundation. <sighs> so, Dodie, you have an EP. You're working on an EP soon, right? Yes. She said it as, as if she didn't know. <laughs> yes, I have an EP coming out. Yes. I've never recorded an EP professionally. How do you feel about that? What are you feeling? Um, I'm nervous because mm. I have to give my songs to someone else. Mm. It's not just me doing it in my room. Yeah. And I'm so comfortable with that. Also, recording vocals in a studio is hard. Yeah. You've done a little bit of that, right? Yeah. And I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just haven't worked with the right person yet. Although, to be fair, that's my least favorite part too. I'm always really cranky and curmudgeon -y. What does curmudgeon-y mean? curmudgeon -y? Um, it's like, it's like cranky, um, but it's kind of, like, I think of curmudgeon -y as I picture like an old man who's like, <laughs> stop moving your face. <laughs> That's a great word. Thank you. I'm actually not sure if it's a real word. This feels like a sin, like, doing, painting over your beautiful freckles. Aww. I have a friend called Bethan, he's mm -hmm. called Bethan, who has the most gorgeous skin in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And she was my foundation. Like, it makes her feel better, mm -hmm. I guess. But I'm just upset because I want us again. <laughs> she got it all up. She got friends and everything. Can you look yeah. up for me? So, I have an EP coming out in October. <laughs> <laughs> People have been asking me a lot lately, which just makes sense. Um, like, how are you feeling? Are you excited? And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> really? Yeah, I mean, no. Now I'm like at a place where I feel okay being excited, but let's just, oops, sorry, scroll backwards like three weeks maybe. Mm -hmm. I was talking to my counselor about this and I was saying like you know I don't really feel excited instead I kind of feel like I'm grieving <laughs> wow that's okay it's like oh that's an, that's kind of a counterintuitive feeling for something that is very objectively exciting to release your music but yeah. like why do you know why Yes. Um, do share. Do tell. So before you make something, mm -hmm. or in this case, before you release something, um, you get to live in the space of your creative ideas being everything they could be. Mm -hmm. And it's, everything is potential and everything is exciting. And um, once you make something, you kind of have to come to terms with your skill level and mm. your tool belt. When you release something, it's like, <laughs> before I release something, it could be anything, you know? And then once it's out there, I know how it performs the first week. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a very safe place for me to be the, it's like me and 10 people who've heard my EP right now. Mm. And it's safe, it's a safe place to dream, it's a safe place to feel excited. But when you release something, suddenly it's very scary to be excited because if you allow yourself to be excited, then you also allow yourself to be devastated. Ah. So it's not, it's not a healthy way to live. I don't recommend it for people. It's like falling in love. <laughs> it is. Yes, it's that exactly. It's a willingness to um, be seen and rejected, but it's not just that. It's hoping you won't be. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So... Those are my feelings this week, but now I'm like, I'm, I'm realizing like, oh, maybe I have a problem with vulnerability. So the last tour we did, I was also talking to my counselor and she's like, it's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. Everyone should do it. She's like, oh, it seems like you did like a lot of the work for that. Did like no one offered to help? And I was like, no, everyone offered to help. And she's like, but you didn't let them help you. And I'm like, ah, I just feel like if I do it, then I know it's done right. Seems like you might have some trouble trusting people. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's not true. And she's like, really? Because you don't p allow yourself to be in a position where people can let you down. Ah! Uh, no! <laughs> Beth, stop! 
you're hurting me. So that's what I'm working on this month, trying to be vulnerable, try to trust people, try to like allow myself to be excited, allow myself to be happy. <laughs> uh, Allowing yourself to be happy. Yeah, it's scary because, you know, what if what if the other shoe falls? Yep. Remember when uh, we were talking about tour, because uh -huh. we're going on tour. Oh right, we're supposed to talk about that in this video. <laughs> Dodie and I are going on tour with Rusty Clanton, John Coz out for a couple shows, Jesse Kale. All that info is in the description. And I am, I'm so excited. I'm yeah. so excited. I'm going to the US for Halloween. I'm gonna spend Halloween in the US. I'm so excited. I haven't looked forward to anything for so long. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I'm <laughs> terrified too. I'm so scared. Yeah. Because whenever it gets there, it's, I find it so difficult to feel happy in the moment because I'm wondering whether I feel good enough and that just good makes enough, me feel worse. Like, um, good enough to be there or good enough like am I experiencing the proper amount of joy? That's the, the latter. Mm. I'm definitely more depressed than anxious. <laughs> so I never look forward to anything because I know that I'm just going to ruin it by having that level of anticipation and excitement and now that i'm excited for something i'm like no don't get down because it'll never be as good as you think it is but i just i know that i overthink happiness so much yeah. so much so yeah. i'm learning to not do that can you look up for me please oh, sorry. Oh, this is horrible <laughs> i hate this <laughs> What are you doing right now? Just oh crap, there's so many eyes. Yeah, I mean I I relate to half of that. I definitely relate to the never looking forward to anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, just because I'm like I refuse to be excited about anything until it's happening. Ah, interesting. See, I can't help it. I'm so excited. Oh, it's so sweet though. I love that. Look at me. What would it mean to you if we went and um you didn't feel well on the tour? Oh, I'd be so upset. Yeah. I'd be so upset. That happened to me half of the tour yeah. um, last time. Like, we had that one night, and then John left, <laughs> and I woke up that oh one night. Chicago was tough for all of us. Everyone was in a really oh, bad mood. <laughs> so sad. I don't know. I woke up, and I was like, I wish I hadn't. No, <laughs> I no. I wish I hadn't. Last tour was so great. It was um, so good. Honestly, I'd felt the happiest that I have in like so, so, so long last tour. We were a fun group. We were. Why did we all bond so much? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've like, there was like that one morning after that night. So there was one night where we napped like the whole day. We just like napped. And then we woke up at like, I don't know, six or something. Then we got pizza and we just talked and stayed up until like, 4 or 5 a.m. and just like asked all of the questions yeah. all of the questions that you want to ask like about everything and it was so much fun and then I woke up the next morning I made everyone tea and I just looked at all your happy faces and I was so in love with the company Aww, oh that's how I felt <laughs> <laughs> leading up to tour like Dodie and I had done two videos together before and we'd met at somewhere in the city like three years ago although Dodie recently revealed to me that we had actually met before and she'd never told me. I was just so charmed by um, you when I met you and I just thought you were so lovely and I loved your content. And John, same thing. I'd only met him really in passing, mm -hmm. but I loved his content and I was like, he just seems pleasant. And you really need pleasant people on tour because you literally spend 20 days straight with them. Like yeah. you share bedrooms. Maybe that's why I had such a good time because I'm such an extrovert. Yeah. I love just constantly being surrounded by people. Yeah. It was so healthy for me to just <laughs> wake up next to people and do things with people. It was so lovely. Yeah. Do you want to blink? Do I look down? Where do I look? Yeah, look down. I invited both of them on this tour, but... And you could probably, if you go back and watch my videos from March, you can see, like, the amount of stress I'm under planning the tour. But the thing I didn't talk about is, please let these people not decide to come at the last moment. <laughs> and also, please let these people like me. Oh, like, so worried that, um, y you know, Rusty and I tour together all the time, but I was worried you two would come and be best friends and think I was, like, really annoying or like whatever and like just would keep me up couldn't sleep and um this tour is so much less stressful because <laughs> like we're good we're we fine all, we all love each other so much <laughs> um but also 
w one of the lessons I learned on the last tour is you do not bring someone on for one week in the middle. That's the biggest mistake I've ever made. Yeah. John can't come for this whole tour, but he's like, I do want to come for a week. And I'm like, we'd love to have you the last week. Yes. <laughs> yes. Come in the last week. So everyone is leaves on a high rather than a, I love everyone on this tour. It's so nice. Oh, you're gone. Have you done my con tour yet? Yes. Do you want more? If we ever do an all woman tour, we could call it the con tour. Joke. I said that earlier, and I was like, I'll say it later. It'll be totally it's candid. Fun joke. It was a fun joke. Now look up. Don't panic. It's okay. It's a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> Am I done? I think so. Oh, let me see. Wait, I'll take my bangs down so I can be beautiful. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not beautiful. My bangs are up. Everybody knows that. Oh, you're so good. You like it? You did the eyebrows great. Look at that shadow. Here we are. Here's the final look. Mm, I'm brought ready. to you by Dodie Clark. Also Sorry. wearing this. I'm pretty sure I know what videos you've worn this in because I always admire it. So when I saw it, I was like, I'm gonna I'm wear gonna this. I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> You're all powdered and matte and I am sweaty. Oh. That's a common theme in our videos. Do you remember the first video we filmed together? And I said that I was sweating in no top. Yes. And I was just like... And now every time I wear that top, people are like, that's the top Dodie sweated in. No. Um, all right. I love the makeup. Thanks, Dodes. Closing thoughts I have. Um, if you are like me and you struggle with the vulnerability of being excited, uh, maybe practice being excited this week. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to allow myself Give to feel exciting. Excited? Exciting. And it is scary, but, you know... You only get one life. Why not start trying to experience it now? <laughs> What's my advice? If you're like me and you struggle with overthinking, I don't have any advice. I don't freaking know what to do. Do you allow yourself to feel it? Yes. You allow yourself to feel it. Mm -hmm. Because um, when, you, when you're actively trying to be like, don't feel it, don't feel it, don't feel it, then you just, you spiral, you feel it more. And you have this shame connected to what your internal story is. Whereas you, if you allow yourself to be like, oh, I'm feeling sad in this moment. I feel disappointed that I am sad and that's okay. And just allow that to be the case, continue on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I will use that. Love you. Hope you're having a great week. Bye. I heard it said that words are deadly things. So I was surprised to find myself alive and breathing. I said, I know it's tough, but I'm going.